Yo, this is Wolverine from the X-Men, and you're watching Erlem. Hey, Ranger Nation. I'm just pouring some tea. Um, tastes really weird, uh, but I'm guessing it's the metal taste. <laughs> um, nice. So, today I wanted to talk about how we jump to conclusions. And before we begin this video, if you want to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop, let's just jump straight into it. Now, I know this video has been covered, and I kind of wrote this like ages ago, but I want to talk about how the fandom jumps to conclusions straight away, and how literally if you say the wrong thing, you get attacked. But if you say the right thing to the right person, they will praise you to the ends of the earth and stuff like this. A while ago, Simon Bennett posted a picture on his Instagram and at the top oh, it was an image of the uh, Kira Major. Uh, like, you know, it was a calendar. It was sent to him by Toye and Simon confirmed this. But the second it was posted on Twitter, on Instagram and stuff like that, people went absolutely ballistic. Officially, Kira Major is the next adaption. You know, screw the people that thought this was happening. Kira Major, Kira Major, Kira Major, Kira Major. Hey yo, Kira T. Frog here. <laughs> um, but that's literally how it was. It was, no matter what happened, and I, I sat and kind of thought about this, and, you know, it, it's one of those things where if you say something, you know, Simon could have tweeted out, oh, I went out with my family today and I bought a load of gems, um, you know, some crystals because my family liked that sort of, I liked that sort of stuff, whatever. And people would instantly jump and go, hey, does that mean Kieran Major's next? <laughs> you know, it could be something like, if, even if he tweeted out um, or had a picture on his, his desk of like, you know, cops and robbers or something like that or, you know, action poster of a superhero cop or whatever or maybe if you like Demolition Man, I, I don't know. I hope he does because it's a good film. But people then would have gone, oh my god, Lupin Ranger versus Powder Ranger is officially the next super sen uh, in the next adaptation. You know, or even if he put on the, uh, he had the Gokai to Dragon on the desk, oh my god, they're remaking Gokaija or the Super, Super Mega Force. You know, little things like that. I think I proved my point on that one. Um, but they would instantly kind of go towards that, and that's fine. And not being funny, maybe he likes it. You know, maybe he liked that stuff. And he said, said in the tweet when someone said, or on the Instagram post, that people, uh, that he, um, that Kira Major was coming next. He instantly went, no, uh, Toyo just sent me a, po a calendar. So he said that he really liked it that's absolutely fine. I think that's really good. Calendar is very useful to have and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, people instantly went straight to Kira, Kira Mija or Kira Mija is is the one for it. That's the, that's the main thing. And that, that generally kind of was a bit frustrating. But that's not what it is. That, that's not what the, the topic is about Simon putting up a, a calendar, you know, or whatever he wanted. It's mainly how the fandom needs to kind of really chill out when it comes to this sort of stuff. It, you know, back in the day where we knew exactly what what season was coming next, you know, Wild Force, then the next season after that, then whatever the season after that was after that, you know, we would expect it and we knew exactly what was coming out. But since how, even when Saban took over the brand and went from Samurai to Super Samurai to, uh, to Mega Force to Super Mega Force to Dino Charge to Super Dino Charge, whatever, like we, we've been waiting two years and we, we kind of, knew exactly when they went to dino charge and skipped out a ton like torcuja then you're like oh god what happens and then obviously when they went back to go buster everyone including myself at the time thought that we would be getting um you know we were getting the next one and i i said it myself like i generally thought we wouldn't get rear soldier that we were going to get um torcuja and, and little things like that so i was guilty of that my charge i will i will hold up my hand with my drink in um, and I will say it, but it did kind of make me think of no matter what happens, it means that Simon probably couldn't put up anything related to Super Sentai. Like if they sent him a really nice poster for Lupin versus Pata Ranger, and he was like, do you know what? I'm going to get that framed. Also get your posters framed. But he's like, I'm going to get that framed, put it in my office. That looks really nice. People would just jump to conclusion straight away and be like, holy shit. Lupin versus Pad Ranger. That, that, that's one, or Lupin Ranger versus Pad Ranger. That's coming out. 
that's officially done. I just feel like, you know, it just feels like you, you're restricted to what you put. Now, Simon isn't. He can put whatever he wants up in his office. But I think his fans, when they see it, they instantly jump to conclusions. And that's not what you want within this fandom because that's how misinformation spread. Remember that video that I did of Jason David Frank sitting in the sphere thing for, uh, Kira, uh, for Kira Major, whatever it was, um, or the Space Sentai? Do you know what happened? I got a lot of hate for that. But yet when other people put it up, they instantly were praised. I might make one or more of those videos, which would be really funny. Um, <laughs> JGF, please go back to Japan. <laughs> Um, but you know, it, it felt like that people were instantly did it. Like even when like there was certain news sources out there and they reported that like Jenna Frank was going to be the next red Ranger. People took him it was like, that's officially true. I, I can see that. But yet when anyone went against it, massively got slapped down for that. That was fun. And no matter what you said, like, you know, uh, that's, 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 that's something else. But I feel like no matter what happens, if even if a Ranger actor, or, the, or Simon puts stuff like that out, people just instantly jump to conclusions. And that's not what we want. You know, it's, you know, what happens to let's wait for the next thing. Let's wait for the Power Morphicon like, announcement that happened every two years. You know, let's wait till Hasbro comes out and says it. But no, it's like people instantly assume it. Completely gone off topic, <laughs> off my script. Um, you know, I, I think now it's, it's a point where we just literally, why do we look into things so much? Like it's sometimes it's fun, you know, and it's like, oh, take this as a grain of salt. Don't, don't look into this as much, you know, but some people just instantly run with it. They see it, they run with it. And, you know, it's just like, as long as you're not presenting it as official news or official facts, you know, as long as you're not saying, you know, bad stuff about it, you know, can we just wait? Can we wait and see? You know, I feel when it comes up to stuff like this, I, I, one thing is, I feel like, say Dino Fury just got announced, you know, Hasbro turns around and they go, we are an announcing Dino Fury as a, an adaptation of Rear Soldier. And you're like, oh, that's really cool. This is, what's the next Sentai? What are you adapting next? I don't care. I don't like this Sentai. I don't like this one. What's next? Are you adapting the one that I love the most? When is Tokuja coming out? When are we doing this? When are we doing that? And it just feels like we, we don't, we don't wait. Some people don't want to wait. And that really irritates me because I want to enjoy the story. I don't know, want to know what comes next. I don't care if Lupin Ranger versus Pata Ranger is the next adaptation. I don't care if Kirimija is the next Super Sentai adaptation. I don't care. I want to see, I want to see how the story unfolds so I can lo love it. I don't want to be like, get, get this over with. Oh, God, wait two years now. You know, I hate this I, and then post hate or, you know, give my bad take on stuff. I want to kind of go around with the story. I want to see what happens. I want to see if this season is going to be my favorite season. If it's going to be top tier, is it going to be good? What are they going to do differently? It's, can, can we not stop rushing stuff? Can we just pretty much wait and see? I think that's the main point is, can we wait and see? That's, that's literally all I want to see right now. But some fans just seem very kind of straight away, this has to be changed. I We, we can't enjoy it. Get to my favorite season, you know. And like, when, then when this happens, and I see this happen most time, it's when someone says, oh, my favorite season's this, and it happens, and it's like, oh, get to my, no, wait, I don't like this. Just Let's just go for a ride. Let's just just enjoy this this thing. Let's get in with the in those odds and just fly. You know, fly, run with it. Just you know what I mean. Just enjoy it. You know, a year of thing. Let's wait and enjoy it. Simon probably knows what's happening more than any of us right now, and I feel like he's he wouldn't tell us. Like you could, uh, he uh, people have actually said what's coming next, and he goes, my main focus is is on Dino Fury, and that's that's what should be happening. It should be. Dino Fury should be concentrated on. That's all I'm saying. So trying to get information out and or trying to see what goes on. I just don't think that is the, the right way. I feel like, you know, he's not going to say anything anyway. And, you know, I just know, I know he's not going to. So he's just focusing on Dino Fury, which is the main thing he should be doing right now. And I'm enjoying what is coming out. You know, I, I feel like some of the fans want to be that sneaky person where they, they drop in and say, oh, what's coming next? And he's like, I really like Demolition Man. And like, oh, now we know it's cop based. That's what's going to happen. And then they go around. And he's like, no, it's not. 
Oh, that's how I see some of the fandom do all, all the time. I also feel like we jumped the gun quite a bit. Is as soon as it happens, we we instantly turn around and we we try to kind of grab what's happening from the future. And it, sometimes it does and doesn't work. You know, I feel that's the main case. Is just we're jumping the gun. You know, we see something on there like. That, that's it and yeah, you know, we we jumped to conclusions straight away you know i could see if we happened so in through dino fury like oh my god we found these new gems that look completely different and then there's loads of stuff that, that simon's post them go well maybe it could be kira major um but for the main topic of this it's not gonna work let's just kind of rest and enjoy this i just sometimes don't feel I, I i don't get it why people need to jump the gun straight to the next season dino fury has just been announced and should be airing very very soon but what's the next sentai after that what's the next series of power rangers i want to know blah 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 can we not just wait oh it just it irritates me it really does i i want to know i want to see a story i don't want to know what's coming next i want to this story to build up and take stuff and then lead me to a, a great adventure to make myself fall in love with ca great characters you know to go i like that jay borg I, I quite like i think she's a great character but you know i don't want to go like oh what's the next comedy duo god like you know i, I want to i just literally want to kind of enjoy the series you know let i want to see great storylines i want to see great writing i want to see great edits i want to see visual effects that make me go wow these are the things that i want to i want to see the most now as i'm going to cl close it down i think that w as a fandom we should possibly wait a bit calm it down let enjoy let's go for the ride let's go you know enjoy what we're seeing rather than i want to see what the next series so at the end of the day they're going to announce it next year they have to they have to tell you what's coming next otherwise you can be like what so we will see what happens Will it be a Sentai? Will it be their own thing? Who knows? But I'm gonna leave it there. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you not? Um, do you think that we need to really chill out and wait for a decent season? Dino Fury is a really decent series. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Hit that bell, because that will be magical. Magical things happen when you ring the bell. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。